Uh, thank you, leaders. I'd like to inform you that we are on live streaming, and we request for your cell phone to be on silent mode. Uh, we go first with the eligibility requirements, and later, uh, for each project, we'll discuss the technical uh, aspects. Our PAC members are there, and the PWG will answer all their questions. So you can ask your questions now. Documents requirements. Uh, as you can see in the, as you can see in front, uh, there are three choices. There are three options <coughs> of the bidder regarding the submission of the PILGEPS registration. So the first one is to submit the PILGEPS, uh, provided that all the documents mentioned in Annex A of the PILGEPS are all current and valid. So yung tax clearance, the DTI or SEC or the Mayor's permit shall all be valid for 2019 or 2020. So, if it's valid, you can just uh, submit the PILGEPS registration in lieu of the Class A documents. However, if there are expired na doc documents in the Annex A of the PILGEPS, uh, you have the second option, that is to submit the PILGEPS registration together with the updated document. If you want Yung sa PILGEPS po ninyo is uh, uh, expired na po yung Mayor's Permit, 2018 pa siya. You can submit the PILGEPS together with the updated Mayor's Permit, which is 2019. And the third option is the submission of the Class A uh, documents only, provided that the bidder who will be the subject for post-qualification shall submit the PILGEPS registration and membership during the post-qualification. So these are the documents to be submitted for the first envelope for the eligibility and technical documents, the PILGEMS. And alam po naman po natin lahat kung ano po yung mga kasi documents, the registration certificate, SEC or DTI for the CDA, the mayor's permit, the tax clearance, and the audited financial statement and the IPR. And of course the pickup license and registration. So, kung may ka joint venture po kayo, you are required to submit the uh, valid special pickup license and together with the joint venture agreement. And of course, you will submit the statement of all ongoing projects. Uh, lahat po ng projects nyo na ongoing, whether similar or not similar in nature sa, sa ipipit po natin na project. And of course, the SLCC and the NFCC computation. So with regard to the class B documents, the joint, joint kung may para joint venture po kayo, we will submit the JBA and the special pickup license. And with regard to technical component, the security, meron po kayong four options. It's either the security declaration, the surety bond, the cash uh, manager's check, or the bank therapy. And the project requirements, the organizational chart, the minimum required technical personnel to be assigned to the project, and the minimum required equipment to be used to the project. And of course, the only was word statement. And we have a uh, special requirement to be submitted together with the technical uh, documents of the project. Uh, the number one is the site inspection certificate. <coughs> you will be required to submit a set certificate of site inspection kung saan man ko kayo airport magbibig. So you will just uh, go to the airport and ask for a certificate of site inspection. And together with the site inspection certificate, uh, you have to submit the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection and the visitor's logbook kung saan man kung airport kayo sa sari. And the second requirement is you have to submit a copy of the bid bulletin if there are any na, na publish or the issue ng procuring entity. So with regard to the second envelope or the financial component of the bid, we have the financial bid form, the bill of quantities, the proposal, the detailed estimates, the summarizes for materials, labor and equipment. And ito po, uh, meron po kaming cash flow by quarter and payment schedule. And together with the cash flow, 
we have to submit the per, per, per CPM network diagram and the construction schedule, bar chart, and escrow. Bukod po ito sa isa-submit ninyo, if you are, uh, if you will be the LCRB for the project, bukod po ito sa isa-submit ninyo na uh, contract agreement documents mo. So, kailangan po nito yung minyo ito isang isa-submit during the opening of this. So, other requirements po. So, each and every page of the document is the eligibility and technical and the financial component shall be initial at meron pong page paging. So, ang paging po natin is, for example, yung eligibility and technical requirements natin consists of 100 pages. So, we have to uh, label it as 1 of 100, 2 of 100, hanggang 100 to 100 po. And then, yung financial documents po ninyo, if, if it consists of 15 days, Pages 1 to 15, 2 to 15, and 15 to 15. And kailangan po initial to our page. So, meron din po tayong uh, index stops para ma madali po maghanap. And with regard to the envelope system, we need to require 10 envelope system. One original and two copies of the pre proposal. So, any bits that comply with the instructions shall be disqualified. Any questions for regarding uh, the eligibility, technical, and financial requirements for, for the people? instructions for you can uh, just uh, read all the requirements in the instruction to readers and the read data sheets. Nandun po lahat po ang uh, special instructions po ng uh, The 
cost of debiting documents is 25,000 pesos. And bid opening is scheduled on March 26, 2019, at 12 o'clock of the bidding documents of the bid, or the bidders of the bidding documents, similar contracts shall refer to uh, contracts with have similar or major categories of work such as building, construction, improvement, rehabilitation, and repair. And the certificate of site inspection shall be issued by the ADMS chief, engineer uh, Olin Glorioso. Ang um, office po nila is in the second floor of this building. So anytime po you can schedule the site, site inspection, uh, meron pong mag-accompanying uh, sign mo na personnel from the ADMS during the conduct of inspection. So the certificate of site inspection will be issued by the ADMS, signed by Engineer Glorioso, and doon din po kayo makakakuha ng copy of the visitor's log. Ipakita niyo na lang po yung company ID ninyo and the uh, pick-up license of the company you are representing. Minimum work experience of key personnel, five years in general engineering and three years in building construction, improvement, rehabilitation and repair. And the capacity of the equipments, capacity and capability of the equipments. structural, architectural, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, tapos meron pa lang provision ng furniture. For the airworthiness department, personal licensing, 
like operations and the admin and the other regarding the scopes of work or topic <coughs> hindi naman po operate uh, supplier pero during the, the implementation phase po lahat po nang ilalagay ninyo na mga fixtures or AMT, mga tire works or uh, mga materials shall be pre-approved by the project engineer prior to installation or delivery project po ma'am is, uh, since the building is being occupied by personnel po ng, ng FSIS, so the working working hours will be after 5 o'clock po. Para po, di ma-disrupt po yung operations po ng FSIS. Calendar days naman po tayo sa uh, including Saturdays and Sundays po. Uh, pero uh, yung Monday to Friday po, limited po yung magiging working hour po natin because of uh, the office, uh, office hours. The second project is the continuation of improvement of fifth floor uh, admin building. <coughs> so this project is a continuation of the improvement of fifth floor and uh, project site. So the ABs of the project is 17,260,274.38 and it will be open for all pickup license contractors with small P license category CND for building and construction. Minimum required technical personnel and equipment are the following. And completion of works shall be within 120 calendar weeks. So, wala pong included na rainy or no work on days kasi yun sa people or dalawang mga food. 
Cost of billing documents will be 25,000 pesos. And again, similar contracts shall refer to building, construction, improvement, rehabilitation, and repair. And the certificate of site inspection shall be again issued by engineer Brown also. Lab book, sila rin po mag-issue. The major scope of work, civil structural, architectural, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, and furniture. So my furniture po kasi this will be a provision of the office system for the fifth floor. We scope of work po natin, muscle rain steel works. Muscle rain po, magkakaroon na po ng counting CHB partition. Architectural provision po ng ceiling. Ceiling and drywall partitions, tile works and painting works. Electrical and mechanical provision po ng air conditioning system po natin. Nine set ceiling kasi. And plumbing po, para po sa provision po ng CR. And kitchen. Uh, provision po, provision po ng office system. So this is the interior perspective for the project. So, kung akit po kayo sa picture, beer na beer po yun, and lahat po i-provide po may contact po po. From tire works to ceiling works, provision ng office system, CR, lahat po. So, this is the picture. Ang hindi po lang magagalaw dito is the ORCC. So, lahat po ito magagalaw dito pa-provide po nyo ito. So, this is the CR may pa-provide. And meron pa kayo pantry. Ito ang CR. Any questions po? Is it the requirement for a matching plan inside? Matching plan po? Wala naman. Magkakaroon daw po ng additional process po na i-protobar doon sa existing stock. Additional process na po siya, pero wala po. Wala naman. Additional lang po. Konting range po. Sa mga part doon sa... Kung naka-indicate mo yun sa plan mo, yung mga additional process natin po, then yung tubular stick natin dyan is additional cost po yun doon sa i-replace natin kasi may evolution din po tayo sa big third company. Uh, kung magsa-site inspection po kasi kayo, meron po kasi mga maliit na tubular uh, poste doon na tatanggalin na parang iikukan lang natin, parang uh, i-relocate. -re so, ito po yung mga tubular dito. 
Uh, yes po. So kung makikita ko ninyo, uh, can you observe? Uh, can you observe? Meron po muna doon na mga, mga pose na maliit po ngayon. We will, we will remove the other pose and we will be relocate po natin. So ito po yung mga still person. Yes po. Yes, 
So, required pa po talaga ito siya? 13.1 naman mo. Letter D, summary sheets indicating unit prices of materials, takeaways, supplement rates. So sa so, sobrang dami po ng materials po natin, mag, meron po tayong semento, ang mga mag, meron tayong semento sa single structural, meron tayong semento sa architectural, sa fireworks, di ba? So, kung hindi po magkaparehas kasi yung nilalagay din yung presyo, this is the time na dito pa rin titingin nyo sa, ano sa summary. So kung nasa summary ninyo is yung presyo na po, so yun kung magiging basis namin for the uh, arithmetical correction of your week. May isang one forms po, sir, or kaya po ang parang ang forms po kasi, sir, na nang ipapit sa detail? Meron po sample forms. Ah, meron din. So, this, uh, kung magkakala lang po kasi ng discrepancy in your costing sa estimate po ninyo, this is, uh, dito po kami ang base sa summary para at least po, uh, yun po po yung pagiging pricing ninyo. Okay, so next po. Passenger terminal building at Makolod Sina.
So the improvement of passenger terminal building at yung Bacolod Sea Line Airport, SNABC of this report. <laughs> so the ABC for the project is for million eight hundred sixty nine thousand three hundred ninety six point nine and open to all small B license category C and D contractors. Traffic duration is 120 calendar days. And we require the following personnel, traffic engineer, electrical engineer, master electrician, master plumber, foreman, safety and health officer, and following equipment, the power building machine and tile cutting machine. The meeting documents will cost 5,000 pesos and opening date is March 26, 2019 at 2 
of destruction in the uh, on the uh, working working time of the uh, workers. Uh, sir, do you think we can carry out the restriction during the uh, work hours? Because uh, the holidays open to head up operations during Sunday to Sunset. The double check for that we will have an operation of operation of hours for that follow. And we will have to make an adjustment for that. I'm sure, sure, I'm sure we will have to make that after the operations of the holidays. If ever po na after office after operations for the whole city like airport, we only have four hours of four hours of work after the operations of the whole. Then definitely we have to make an adjustment for the contract duration for that. So this will depend po on ano po yung ginigisen na na working hour for the work po dun sa tali. So if the operations for the call, let's say it's 5 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock p.m. So you will start your work at 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. until 2 p.m. 2 a.m. or 6 a.m. So it depends on the task engineer. And then we'll have an adjustment for the contract duration. Because it's not just for 120 calendar days, it's based on an 8-hour work day. So if it's 4 hours for work at about 4 hours, for a certain period, kapag po lang yas.
is a new construction. So small a and small b cut uh, contractors without similar experience will not be allowed to bid for the project. So kailangan po talaga may experience kasi this is a construction of a two-story building. So this is the floor plan. So yung other half po is ground floor and second floor and the other half po is uh, provision for the uh, parking bay of the par uh, parking bay. This is a repeat project, the rear blocking of it from pavement at Calibur Airport. The ABC is 9,945,000, and the minimum required technical personnel, pilot engineer, materials engineer, system project engineer, foreman, and safety and health officer, and the minimum required equipment. Ito, wala po tayong uh, required concrete project plan. Um, parang pan po natin dito is uh, ready mix concrete po yung pagdabi nyo. So open to all pick up license contractor, small b license category CLD. Project duration is 90 calendar days, inclusive of 5 calendar days, no one more couple days. Bidding of occurrence is 10,000 pesos. Opening date is March 26, 2019, not 
kagaya ko kanina, under item 5.4a, small a and small b categories without contractors without single experience will not be allowed to tender their bid proposal. And under 5.4p of the BDS, single contracts shall refer to contracts uh, such as company of loans and other loan structures. So, dapat po may nagpumay completed projects regarding uh, completing of loans and other loan structures. Certificate of site inspection is required. It will be issued by engineer Eusebio Monserrate or his duly authorized representative. And we will be requiring the submission of the visitor slab from Palibo. Minimum work experience for personnel, five years in general engineering and three years in completing of roads and other horizontal structures. Capability and capacity and quantity of the equipments. So the major scope of work. Break and disposal of damage concrete pavement consisting of 3,960 square meters. The provision of aggregates of base, 418.14 cubic meter. Hindi, wala, hindi po ito total replacement ng aggregates of base. Wala po ito. Correction po ng no existing, yung pagbubo pala po ninyo, pag na-excavate po ninyo, baka kasi ma-disturb po yung sub-base. So this is just a correction of the uh, aggregates of base course. And PCCP, 8,960 square meter. As I have said kanina, uh, we will not be requiring the concrete batching plant because we will be requiring a ready mix concrete, 3,500 PSI of three days as materials. So with regard to the working hours po sa kanibo, uh, magkakaroon po ng special working Uh, po sa kanibo kasi operation po yung uh, meron po tayong PC airport sa kanibo international. So baka mamaya po ang buhus po natin dito is uh, after uh, operating hours po ng kanibo airport. So the 90 calendar days will be adjusted uh, depende po sa magiging uh, working schedule nyo sa kanibo. Any questions po? the computing of the apron with drainage canal at Lingayan Airport. We have the following technical personnel and equipment. The minimum required technical personnel and equipment for the project. So dito po, uh, we are requiring the complete batching plan. open to all small B license category CMD contractors and the ABC is 17,361,574.72 and the 
Winning documents will be costing 25,000. And opening date is March 26 po at 10 a.m. po. Instructions, salvation and disposal, aggregates of base course. So, unlike po kanina, ito po is a uh, total provision po ng aggregates of base course kasi yung construction po ito ng takeoff. PCCP, pipe culvert and storm drainage, and provision of temporary facility. Aggregates of base course, provision of 0.30 meter or 300 mm thick na sub base, 120 by 48 meters, and the PCCP is 120 by 48 by 0.30 mm thick. And we will be requiring a certificate of site inspection to be issued by the officer in charge of the Indian Airport.
questions uh, from the prospective leaders? <coughs> Pero the, under the detailed estimates, we're not providing any quantity. So, 
that is uh, blank po talaga siya. Uh, depende lang po kayo sa testing.
1 million 
was 5,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
guest warrant of the technicality. Kasi yung know, ABC, alam niyo na na it's 5 million. And offering more than the ABC is uh, sort of... And that's the very nice natin yung ABC. Actually, uh, there was no amount in our letter to the uh, leaders. And, uh, ang presumption nila, yung unang bidding na, uh, yung, yung two failures of bidding na amount, dapat sila ng base. Pero since matagal na yun, siguro kaya na pop-up nila yung ganun na price name. Ay, hindi pwede. Kasi yung basahin natin ng two failures is the same ABC. Yes. Kaya, kung mag-negotiate kayo, pa rin yung basahin natin doon. Unless na na-revise niyo yung problem ko. So, kung malimbawa, the same ABC yung dinamit natin, the mere offer of more than the ABC, uh, disqualified niya sa automatic loan. And sana, another process for her to offer on the same price with the ABC para makonsider natin na responsive ako na niya. Kasi what if meron siyang nasabay ito? Hindi kaya hindi ABC. So, ito ito ka mag-ikipag-negosit siya, isa hindi sa kanya. Just to copy na mag-isa lang siya. Yung technicality na tinitingnan natin dito, hindi wala akong question doon sa ito. So, sana, kung halimbawa nag-offer siya ng 7 million, okay, this one, you can offer again with the ABC. Kasi dapat before all, alam niyo yung ABC na 5 million lang. Ba't ka mag-offer ng model? Unless na, may purpose talaga siya na exacto siya doon. Kasi kung hindi niyo naman kaya, hindi. Hindi ka revise niyo yung model. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm 